it was all top secret confidential. Mm. No, actually it was not at the highest level of secrecy. It was at a level of secrecy that made it much more widely dispersed than people are acknowledging. It was not top confidential secret. Our story this morning... As far morning as the British police were concerned, it was totally confidential. But there are literal classifications of confidentiality and it was not at the top. Which is, the reason that's important, at the very top means very few eyes saw it. This was much more widely distributed. This is an ongoing investigation. <coughs> 48 hours yeah. after 22 young people, including children, had been murdered, yeah. you chose to put on your front page right. pictures which the British police regarded as highly sensitive operational information. And right after that, the BBC and The Guardian put them on their front pages. Well, but that's no ahead. justification because... I'm not saying it is. I'm just pointing it out. Right. <laughs> this is what the UK National Police Chiefs Council said. The revelations, they said, undermined our investigation. And not only that, they also undermined the confidence of victims, witnesses, and their families. Yeah. Are you now prepared to say sorry? No, absolutely not. No. Ah, boy, we live in different press worlds. When our police say that, we say prove it. They didn't prove it. I don't buy it. I don't buy that this hurt their investigation. We very thoughtfully, carefully publish information that we publish after every terror attack in the while, world. While the and operation we is it still ongoing after abso 48 hours? Absolutely. Would you have done the same thing if these victims had been in New York City, not in Manchester, England? We did it. We did it after September 11th. We did it after the Boston bombings. We didn't. We have never heard an outcry from victims about publishing this stuff. To this day, I came in this morning. I've been answering letters from people who under who I get the criticism. You mean in, in England? Yes, I've been answering. I haven't heard from no victims, none. No regrets. No regrets. That's, no regrets. Let's talk about.